coming back to review, as far as I know, the fourth Godzilla movie, which is Mothra versus Godzilla. Or like, I think in America it was like Godzilla versus The Thing or something. It's just like, what the? Because like the dub version, it's like, oh, The Thing. It's like, what the hell are you talking about? So anyway, like I said before, uh, Classic Media or whatever in the late to, you know, 2005, 6 or 7 or whatever was releasing all these cool DVDs which, you know, finally you get to see the full Toho scope ratio and finally the original cuts in the Japanese language versions of Godzilla, which is some Godzilla movies, which is something that I've been meaning to see for years and years and years, you know. So finally, because of the 50th anniversary and stuff at the time, <clears throat> we were able to get some of these original versions of Godzilla. So, you know, this is a movie, of course, I had on the Paramount VHS tape, pan and scan, Americanized version. I don't think it's, I think it's actually, I don't think it says the thing on the cover. I think it's billed as Godzilla vs. Mothra, but I know that, like, in the dub version, I don't know if they ever say Mothra. I don't know. It seems like I can hear them say the thing or whatever. Maybe sometimes they say Mothra, sometimes they say the thing. I don't freaking know. But I know that, you know, there is a version, you know, that it is touted as Godzilla versus the thing at some point, somewhere, for some reason. Um, I would say this is an improvement over King Kong versus Godzilla. I don't, uh, I imagine, well, yeah, I imagine the movie Mothra came out before. I don't know how many times we've seen, like, the, the screen has seen Mothra. I don't know if this is Mothra's second time appeared. Or, or not. I, I mean, it's gotta be, can't be the first, obviously. I have the first would, I would imagine, be Mothra. So maybe this is the second time Mothra's appeared. I don't know everything about these kaiju movies. But I like Mothra as a, as a Godzilla character. I like the, one of the cool aspects about Mothra is, of course, the la larva form. He can, the lar larva form can, you know, inch around and shoot his little web and all this stuff, and then the Lar larva versions of Mothra can do cool stuff and then they just you know transform into a moth and so it's like a two-stage monster so you know with the exception of Batra uh, Mothra is one of the only two-stage you know monsters you got like in the Godzilla universe so the two-stageness is cool because of Mothra and just the whole idea one of the things that I think is so cool about the character which really has nothing to do with Mothra but is the two girls the two little girls I think is just probably one of the coolest things about the character in general is not even the character but it's those two little girls man not little girl well yeah they're little, <laughs> they're little I mean they're old little girl I mean they're older I mean they're not like seven years old you see you know what I mean they're like older little girls. So that is beyond classic and the, the songs I actually actually almost weep um, when I hear like the the one that goes Like that is beyond beautiful and almost makes me weep right now thinking about it. It's just, that's, that little tune is freaking unbelievable. And um, that's, like I say, that in, in, in addition to the, just the two little girls is one of the things I like most about just Mothra in general. And of course, throughout the years, throughout the decades of Godzilla movies, we get to see different incarnations, different girls and stuff playing playing them as which we'll you know talk about further on as I hopefully get to rewatch and review all of the Godzilla movies this year that's the plan so I'm not promising anything but it's the plan so this movie like I say is better than um, for me <clears throat> better than King Kong versus Godzilla which is not difficult um it's it's uh, what's cool about it is that we see like a, a Mothra that's that's a moth first and then I think this happens later on in other Godzilla movies too, where the moth, Mothra comes, see the movie starts with this big like hurricane thing, and then it unearths this egg, or this egg, no, this egg ends up on the shore because of this hurricane or something, I don't know. 
And he's like this guy, this business guy, happy, ah oh shit, I can't remember, Happy Enterprises, I think it is. I love these light titles, it's so lame, these names. They claim it for their own or something like that, and it's just like, whatever, and it's like, I don't know. I'm not going to, you know what, I'm not going to tell you what happens in the whole movie, but two and a half stars from Mothra vs. Godzilla, it's not the best thing in the world, but it's it's cool, <clears throat> it's cool, and it's something that is cool. Uh, it's not, I don't know, it's not the best Godzilla movie by any means, but it's serviceable, definitely more so than... King Kong versus Godzilla. So, it's cool. It's funny how it's like, you know, I don't know, the, 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 I love how, like, when the two little Mothra girls go to ask for help, the, the humans are like, no, or whatever, we can't do that. And then they, I love how when the humans go to ask them for help, it's like, please. <laughs> it's just like, so hypocritical and just bullshit. You know, and I love the, the logic the little girls have, you know, it's just like, we don't trust you, you know, it's so great, you know, but the humans end up getting their goddamn way anyway. <clears throat> and what's so funny is when the little girls are actually riding on Mothra, you can actually see them. In retrospect, you know, they're so small you'd never be able to, see. anyway. That's, uh, that's another point, but, uh, oh, one thing I want to say is some of the visual effects for being like the 60s and for being Japanese movies that they pull off for the little girls the opticals are really impressive for, for them you know like yeah that's one thing I wanted to say because I'm gonna end pretty soon here some of the optical stuff they pull off with the little girls is really impressive for, for being the 60s so that's pretty much I don't know I can't really remember it's funny how that one guy's always eating an egg and he's like oh well, one egg times however many equals the cost of this egg. One thing that I don't like is just all the, just the, the bad guy. This is when you start putting in the bad guys, like, the you know, the guy who wants to make money off it. And this is kind of the beginning of all that stuff in the, the human, human enemy aspects in these Godzilla movies, which is just like, whatever, I don't care about that. But, um... Oh, that, yeah, that, I, you know, that girl is pretty cute, like the, the photographer girl, you know, I kind of have a thing for Asian girls and, uh, well, not just Asian girls, but Asian girls as well, and it's just like, she's pretty cute in her little 60s outfits and all this and that, so, yeah, I think that about does it, you know, unfortunately, not a lot, I can't really remember a lot, but I mean, not a lot happens, I mean, you know, the egg, the egg gets shored up and, <laughs> washed ashore and Godzilla comes and the moth battles it and the egg hatches and two larvae battle Godzilla and they web him up and he falls into the ocean and two and a half stars for Mothra vs. Godzilla so thank you very much for watching this fourth in a series of reviewing all hopefully Godzilla, Godzilla movies and uh, thank you very much for watching, and sayonara! Sayonara.